Hello again, Twill.tv. Good to see you. If you follow me over on XDA TV, you may have seen about, I don't know, about a month ago, I reviewed the LG G3. Well, if you can't tell from what's in my hand, Verizon got in touch with me, uh, it's been a couple of weeks ago at this point, and said, would you like to take a look at the LG G3? I said, well, I've already done that. I guess I could take a look at it and just sort of compare and contrast. So in this video, I thought rather than wasting your time, I will redirect you over to the XDA TV video. Uh, and actually there's a full written review and everything. So I'll put a link to that down in the video description. And as far as this video, I'll just sort of give you the blow by blow differences uh, as they were between the South Korean variant that I actually got a chance to look at from XDA and then the Verizon variant that I have here in my hand. Now, first and most obviously the hardware differences there's not a whole lot of difference. They're practically the same device, the same color and everything, with one glaring obvious difference. The South Korean variant that I reviewed had a pop-up mobile TV antenna. The Verizon variant does not because it's not supported here in the US. Has the same battery, has the same camera, has the same processor, RAM, storage, and everything. The other key place to look, obviously, is the software. Now, of course, this being a Verizon device, it does come with a lockdown bootloader. It does come with all sorts of Verizon proprietary bloatware on top of it. It does still have the stock LG software on it. So it has the new LG skin that they put on top of their, their new LG G3 devices. And it does support all the same things that the South Korean variant did with things like knock code and the little buzz panel thing that you swipe over to the left to get on these newer devices. And really the biggest difference between the South Korean variant and the Verizon variant is the bloatware. Not to say that the South Korean variant didn't have it. The South Korean variant had a ton, a ton of bloatware on it. But unfortunately, the Verizon variant has a lot as well. Now, thankfully, a lot of it is categorized. So when you do go in and look at your applications that are installed, you have a folder devoted to Amazon apps and a folder devoted to Verizon apps. But then there are other various and sundry ones smattered around through it, like ISIS Wallet and NFL Mobile and Slacker Radio. And so, yeah, that's really about all there is to say about it. Of course, there is a lot of development being done on the G3 in the XDA forums. So I will definitely recommend you go take a look over there before deciding if you want to buy this or not. The time that I spent with it, with the previous one and with this one, has been an excellent experience. Great battery life, great performance, and of course, pretty decent camera with 4K video quality. Like I said, if you want to see my entire impressions of the device itself, head on over to XDA to get all of that. There are also sample images and video and everything over there in the review itself. But that's probably going to wrap this up from me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.